childhood hangouts. The Cincinnati Gardens, where my dad played for the Royals, is facing the wrecking ball. Soon, the largest collection of gardens memorabilia will hit the auction block. The Legends Museum inside the arena was home to thousands of old programs, jerseys, banners, hockey sticks from the players who made memories for all of us there. Local 12's Joe Webb tells us how you can own a piece of that history. The trailer outside the Cincinnati Gardens was a telltale sign that something was going on today. The building is sold and the new owners decided it was moving day for the Legends Museum, the biggest collection of gardens memorabilia. Everything in the Legends Museum, uh, originally we had plans that, that we'd hoped to auction it off from the museum itself inside the building, but unfortunately uh, the, the timing of things weren't going to work out the, the way that the new owners were looking to, to move forward with it. So. Unfortunately, it had to be dismantled this week. Dismantled and hauled to everything but the house's warehouse in Linwood. The last load with those turnstiles, Royals team photos, and a Cincinnati Mohawks hockey goal rolled in this afternoon. Inside, they were cataloging and admiring the old banners, warm-ups, trophies, and roller derby posters that are the hard copies of four generations of memories. I would say there's going to be about five to six hundred items in this auction and there will be items in the future that aren't available to be released right now. The auction will be online late next month or early September. All of this stuff will be up for bid in that everything but the house online auction. A lot of people are asking about the seats in the Cincinnati Gardens. Well, they're still bolted down and belong to the new owners, the Cincinnati Port Authority, and they haven't decided yet what they're going to do with them. The Port Authority's website says the iconic concrete reliefs of the boxer, hockey player, and basketball player will be saved and likely turned over to a nonprofit for preservation. The rest, including a hockey stick autographed by Garth Brooks, is up for grabs. Everything on our website starts at a dollar and goes to the highest bidder, so everybody will have ample and equal opportunity to bid and win a piece of the uh, Cincinnati Gardens history before the old arena becomes history itself early next year. In Roselawn, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. And if you'd like information on the seats and what the plans are for the contents of the gardens, we do have a link for you on local12.com. And get this, Joe brought this back for me. This is one of the items up for bid on the online auction. It's very close to my heart. That's my dad, number 24. He played for the Royals. Uh, he was in the NBA for 14 years. He even autographed that one. And when I say Joe brought it back for me, he just brought me back a picture of the picture. It's actually going to be part of the auction, but believe me, I intend to bid on it. And even though the place is coming down, Rob, you know, they can't take our memories away, right? And right, but do you feel any sadness as a result? Well, sure. Yeah, yeah of I, I course I so. do. But I, I, can I share one of my favorite yeah, memories? Yeah, sure. Love okay, it. so we lived in Golf Manor right down the street from the gardens and so a lot of times my dad would take my older sister and I Jane we would go to the game and my mom would stay home with the little ones and then after the game of course dad was in the locker room he was signing autographs so Jane and I would sneak up the catwalks and go way up on the top of the gardens and we also would look for money under the seats that people <laughs> left and one night we found $42 no kidding and for a 10 year old $42 was like hitting the lottery yeah. so that was a lot of fun a lot That's of fun, fun too. Yeah. yeah nice to hear that yes. story thanks for listening. Well, the